Right, it's us again. I'm free. I don't, don't be telling me it's free stuff to you. I said let's do it inside and you said no, I want to go in the garden. Right, so it's us again sitting in the garden, cold in the windy wind. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tuesday night and this is story number 29. 29, we're into week five of these stories. This lockdown's going on forever, isn't it, fella? <laughs> Want to get back to school? You've got your tea. Stuck to the end of your nose. <laughs> yes. You have got <laughs> tea on the end of your nose, right? Okay, so tell us what we're reading tonight, then. Wish upon a star. Wish upon a star. <laughs> no, right. Okay, wait a second, then. Let me get round. Oh, there we go. Right, off you go, nice and clear. Every night. Oh, I'm gone. Oh, I'm gone on wonky. Go on, sorry. Every night at bedtime, Baby Bear and his mummy love to snuggle up close on his warm, cozy bed and read a story. When the story ended, Mummy would tuck Baby Bear up tight, give him a big cuddle and turn out the light. One night when the room went dark, Baby Bear began to feel frightened. Please leave me right alone. No. Say that again. Please light, leave the... Light on. <laughs> yeah. He called. I'm scared of the dunk. Don't be afraid, said Mummy, taking Baby Bear's hand and... Leading him to the window. Not everything about night time is dark. Look outside and see how much of it can be. Mm -hmm. Through the window, Baby Bear could see what... That could see that. The sky was... Filled with bright shining stars. Why don't you make a wish, said Mummy. I wish I wasn't so afraid of the dark, whispered Baby Bear. As he spoke, one little star began to simmer and seek. Then suddenly it shot across the sky in a shower of sparkles. The bears was in amazement and as it flew past the window and landed in their garden. Quick called Mummy racing downstairs to see the star. Wait for me, cried Baby Bear, grabbing his teddy and following behind. Look, whispered Mummy, opening the door. Baby Bear gasped. He could see the star glowing in the darkness. Let's go and see if we can find it, said Mummy. Mummy stepped outside and Baby Bear peeked out from behind her. The garden seemed huge and dark and scary. Something flew over the their heads and hooted with a loud I don't like it, said Baby Bear. I don't want to go older. Come, come on, let's be brave together, said Mommy, squeezing Baby Bear's hand. It will be an adventure. Baby Bear nodded and gave Teddy a squeak to make sure he wasn't scared either. Oh. They hadn't gone far when Baby Bear saw some light flickering in the leaves around him. Are those shooting stars too? He asked. Those are fireflies, replied, replied Mummy. They light up at night. Well, said Baby Bear. They're not so scary at all. 
all the other animals that come out at night. Yes, look over there, said Mummy pointing. Those bunnies are playing together in the moonlight. That looks like fun, said Baby Bear giggling. <laughs> <laughs> Further along the path, Baby Bear heard the hooting sound that had frightened him before. What's that? He cried, hiding behind Molly. It's just an owl, said Baby Bear. Where no, said look? Mummy smiling. <laughs> said Mummy smiling. Hello, owl, said Baby Bear. We're looking for a fallen star. Have you seen it? The owl hooted again. Baby Bear laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Bear could see that the shimmery light of the star wasn't far away. He was so excited he couldn't wait to see it. Come on, Mummy, he said. We're almost there. The bears hurried ahead until they finally spotted the star lying in the grass. It glittered and glowered. Glowed. Glowed brightly. Little bunnies hopped around it, wondering what it was. Baby Bear picked up the star and smiled. It's so bright, he whispered. I'm going to take it home to light up my room. Baby Bear and Mummy pulled into the star together and headed back to the house, past the hooting owl, the hopping bunnies and the flickering fireflies. Back in bed, Baby Bear took the star under his pillow to keep it safe. Good night, Baby Bear, said Mummy. Good night, Mummy, replied Baby Bear. This time when mommy turned out the light, baby bear wasn't scared at all. His vessel stopped sparkled in the darkness as he snuggled up. Sleepily. Sleepily. <laughs> baby bear fell asleep dreaming of all the wonderful things he had seen on his adventure after that night. He was never afraid of the dark. The end. Good night. Good night. The end. <laughs> right, we'll see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. You we, are, get... are we going to read My Dad's Fantastic tomorrow? <laughs> He's got this great new book called My Dad's Fantastic and he won't read it. <laughs> That's why you're not fantastic. Well, see you. <laughs> Say bye bye. Bye.